breakfast and I'm going to Soul Cycle this morning. I'm talking quietly because Tyler's still sleeping. I haven't had oatmeal in a hot minute, so I'm stoked. It smells really good. Welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be a good week. So I'm around the corner from Soul Cycle now. I'm early. I decided to walk through Georgetown even though I'm going to the one that's by West End. I stopped at Urban Outfitters and just like looked around because I love Urban Outfitters fall stuff. But I love Urban Outfitters but like mostly just during the fall. Like that's when they have all of my favorite stuff. I'm not a big fan of their like spring, summer stuff. But you guys, it hit me like while I was walking and when I got to Urban, that like, I kind of feel like I'm getting sick. Like I was sneezing. I keep sneezing, but I've been sneezing. <laughs> Sneeze. And my throat kind of hurts. And so I took a probiotic this morning, just to like make sure I haven't been taking it as religiously as I should, but I need to get back on it because I really don't want to get sick. So I'm hoping that this is nothing. And also my eye, it's red. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. I don't want to be sneezing at Soul Cycle, so hopefully I sweat it all out. I'm so excited because the class is drink themed. Yes, I love drink. I'm welcome to this vlog. It's a wonderful Sunday. I'm starting off my week right. Here we go. Great Sunday when I go to Soul Cycle. Again, love the outside of West End. Sorry. The classic tomato clip after Soul Cycle, but I was just um, getting like b-roll footage as you saw in this cook of that people's like I used to love your videos So like she was an OG back in the day And I also met a girl before class too. So if you're watching this, what's up? Oh, I'm still actively sweating So I'm gonna like sit down and cool off for a minute But I'm actually right across the corner from the library So I think I'm gonna go there print out one of my readings and like force myself to read it because my printer still isn't working <laughs> Wow, printer goals and printer that works. <laughs> anyway, the library like just opened. It wasn't until one, but I got here just in time. A much needed update. I'm just like sitting at this little table. Um, I just got my nails done. It's such a nice, like chilled Sunday. And I'm just so happy because I'm obsessed with them. They turned out really nicely and it wasn't too expensive. And I didn't go back to the place I went last, you know, really interesting chronicles of my nail salon quest if you guys remember the place i went to last time i was like i love these it was perfect i'm gonna go back to her but then it was great when i got them done but then they started yellowing and it was gross and like showing like they just look stained and dirty and that's the first time that's happened to me since getting white nails back in april so it must have been the polish they used or something I don't know something about it which I was so bummed because I was like I finally found a salon where I loved like how they ended up looking and then they started yelling so I went back to another place that I'd been before but I didn't like love how she had shaped them um, but I knew that the polish didn't yellow like that so I was like okay I'll give it another shot and I got a different girl this time and she did an amazing job so now I remember her name her name's Annie at Modern Nail Bar this morning my soul cycle class was the best ever like it was so much fun the Drake class like, gave me life. Like I am never that bitch that's like on the beat the whole time and like dancing on the bike, but that was me today. Sometimes in Soul Cycle, like they do this crazy shit that's like I'm gonna try and prop you up for this. They do this like really annoying stuff sometimes where it's like, okay, push up, now on the middle bar, then in the back, and it's like so fast and they expect you to like jump around like front, back, this way with your hands, and it's just like this is excessive. And I usually just like don't even try because I'm like, this doesn't even help my workout. This is just like distracting. Today I was so into it it was during in my feelings so i was like and i was completely on the beat the whole time i was like kiki do you love me and it was just so funny because it's just like not me but i was so into it but anyway what i'm saying is it made such a difference just the music because i like knew every song if you're new to soul cycle or spinning in general and kind of nervous about it i would suggest going to a class that's maybe themed with like an artist that you love because that makes it so much more fun and like motivating anyway Cher was great if you're in dc try Cher's class especially if it's a theme ride i think she's doing a like beyonce ride next weekend when we were climbing the hill it was um legend so it was literally like me going against the resistance like if i die all i know is and i was just so into it yeah today's been great so far so hope you're having a lovely sunday monday when are you watching this wednesday you're watching this wednesday this is old news obviously the music makes a big difference but i was thinking like maybe i had more energy because i ate like a carb heavy meal a couple hours before and i usually before soul cycle is well when i go in the like morning time i don't eat before but i did have oatmeal this morning I have not really been sticking to intermittent fasting um now that i've started classes and my internship it just isn't really feasible for me I could try and fast until um, 
I eat lunch at work, but I just, it's okay if you're not doing intermittent fasting. That's kind of why I've stopped and now I'm like in the pattern of not doing it. So on the weekends when I could, I wanted breakfast this morning because I have been eating breakfast. So my body's like used to that again. So it's like, I don't have the time, like free time to eat enough to make up for those calories if I don't eat breakfast. Does that make sense? That's kind of an update on that, how I've been not doing intermittent fasting anymore, but it's okay. I said from the beginning, if it works for your lifestyle, awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> Good morning, Krusty Crew. Happy Monday. I definitely need my apple cider vinegar lemon water extra today because I woke up and my throat is like very sore. Like I'm kind of worried I'm getting sick. Like actually this time I've had a couple like sickness scares but this one's like my throat's like really bad so i'm gonna kill it with some apple cider vinegar take a probiotic hope for the best i'm gonna make some protein pancakes this morning and we got the protein pancakes they're so good just what i needed i always feel like whenever i make these i have to like vlog it or put all my fit insta because they're just so pretty <laughs> like the strawberries make it look so good so yay Excessive, maybe. So I'm currently, as you saw, getting my groceries at Trader Joe's for the week. It's a lot of the same stuff, but this is kind of like what my cart looks like typically. I do want to get. I might actually grab one of their vanilla cold brews for when I don't want to buy coffee, but this is cheaper. Oh, it has milk. Just kidding. Great vegan treat. Look at all of this pumpkin stuff. This is so excessive, but like not. Pumpkin soup. Is that even a thing? Oh my god, you guys. Gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. What are they made of? Wait, I'm intrigued rice flour but also it has milk so no but r.i.p these are my favorite sweet potato crackers the usual we got sweet potato and squash i honestly like haven't gotten sick of this yet as my like carb dish i much prefer this to just eating rice. I don't know why, I just love sweet potatoes so much. I cooked up my ground turkey and two of the bags of cauliflower gnocchi. So I had one serving of it and I'm saving it. And I tried to take this in one of the meal prep containers with marinara sauce, I think that was my downfall, um, for a lunch to work last week. And it just was like messy. It might be smarter if I could like get those like a sauce container by itself because i like poured it in one of the compartments of the meal prep thing so i'm kind of shifting because this used to always be my dinner would be like this with my veggies and chicken but now it's easier to take that in my meal prep containers so i'm kind of eating this for lunches now and guys i cooked this one like perfectly like usually they get kind of burnt but i think these turned out perfect What's up you guys? We are at my desk because I'm gonna do a little mini Q&A. Um, I just thought it'd be good to do a Q&A in this vlog because I realized I haven't answered questions since like a vlog when I was back in Bend two months ago almost. I asked on my Fit Insta, which is where I kind of like interact with you the most. If you're following me on there, that's how you got to the question. So make sure you're following me for the next one. That just sounded like very rehearsed for some reason. I'm not like that. <laughs> I don't rehearse. I just thought it was a good time to do Q&A because like, okay, I've had a couple weeks of my internship and classes and getting in the groove of things and like settling into a new semester and just like catch up on life and everything. So I already kind of addressed how I'm not doing intermittent fasting anymore. So I thought it'd be good to like follow up with other things that are new or different or whatever in my life. How's corporate life treating you? Feeling professional AF yet? Yes, I actually really, really like working in the office, not just for the sense of like, I love sitting at a computer and inputting data, you know, like that, but I just love the sense of contributing to something greater than myself. Just for someone who's always, I've always worked for myself, which is great and it's flexible, but it's so, so nice. I didn't realize how much I kind of like the idea of contributing to something that's a bigger group dynamic that I just feel so much it kind of just feels more fulfilling in a sense because you like see how 
it all works together with everyone in the office like working towards a common goal it's kind of a cool thing i mean i've only been there for a couple weeks and i'm not even like doing that important of things but like makes me feel like i have my life so much more together even like I don't know like as a youtuber you know full time even if i have a free day that i'm spending on youtube and i'm like putting work into it and editing it and everything at the end of the day it doesn't feel as fulfilling even if i am like you know making money and putting content out and helping people it just feels a lot more tangible when i'm working in an office with other people for some reason and again like it's so early on and i'm literally an intern like who cares about me on the totem pole but I don't know i like the feeling a lot basically that was a long-winded question i didn't even expect it to go there and i didn't even realize some of that until i was just saying it but it is very different and i i really like it someone says are you doing vlogmas this year um i don't see why i wouldn't i'm planning on doing vlogmas someone just says simply are you dating and i feel like that's a very open-ended question and i'm gonna give you an open-ended answer that's yes i am currently dating do with that what you will you might take that as i've been going on dates like here and there with different guys or i'm like seeing someone seriously maybe i'm engaged right now who knows <laughs> a lot of questions about like balancing things so far with school my internship and everything like that and so far again it's only been a couple weeks so it might get crazier but um as of now like it's really been much more manageable than i expected and i really really like it because it gives me a sort of structure that forces me into planning more and i think that's the key is just planning ahead like when you know you have a busy week coming up today at noon when soul cycle class is opened i booked two classes so i know that i'm going to those later in the week around my schedule that fits with it i know that i'm gonna have time to like run to the gym at this time before class here you know like that if you want to prioritize something just plan ahead and i'm not even a planning kind of person that like needs to have every moment of my life scheduled but when it comes to things when you're busy it's easy to have things slip through the cracks when you don't like schedule them out ahead of time so if you know you want to make time for the gym later as opposed to last minute being like oh if i have time then it's much easier to brush it aside be like okay but i could be doing this instead but if you write it in your planner like that week okay i'm going to the gym at this time stick to it follow through it's so much easier to manage and then you don't give yourself the time to like sit in bed and procrastinate and like ponder like think like okay am i gonna do this like do i want to go and then waste the time what are your body or fitness goals at the moment there's no particular muscle group where i'm like okay i really really wanted to find this like i've seen growth like in my back when i was focusing on that and i really like how my shoulders have looked and you guys know i put in a lot of time on the glutes and i'm just really happy of like all the work i put in at the gym lifting and like putting in work for muscles and i've been seeing a difference with that but now um i am kind of shifting to more incorporating more cardio slowly slowly without obsessively um i'm trying to lose a little bit more fat which i've been saying for a while but i just like i can't put myself in the all or nothing mindset i'm not tracking obsessively um but i am keeping an eye more doing a little more cardio and long term i want to start like losing more fat um but again like i'm not going to put pressure on myself to do it you know like in the next four months and i'm just like living life and being happy and active like i do have long-term goals and i am slowly working towards them but nothing that's like oh my god i need to do this now someone says where are your gym shark clothes and girl i wish i knew it is today is monday i ordered them four weeks ago today and they shipped out the next day so it's been four weeks i emailed gym shark i explained the situation like last week on like tuesday or wednesday or something and they responded and they're like okay we'll look into this and i haven't heard anything yet and it's still in belgium so and someone said did you get your printer to work no and i was so mad because i was editing my last vlog and i said in that vlog like i will get it to work by the end of this vlog and i didn't um which i still haven't it's honestly like i don't know what the problem is but it keeps thinking my wi-fi password is wrong when i know it's not it's like incorrect password and i'm like no <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about hp actually i'm gonna put you guys like let's get a little closer <laughs> what are you looking for in a guy um hmm. <laughs> i think these kinds of questions are very there are certain things i like in certain people and the things i'm attracted to more but at the same time like i go into it knowing that people aren't a list of qualities like there's so much more to people than being like okay he has a good job like he's funny blah 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 like there's just so many more nuances and people are dynamic like changing i don't know i think just the main thing for me is just like being open-minded in the sense of like always wanting to learn more and doesn't think they know it all and like always willing to accept new worldviews into theirs i i would say like there's things that i realize that i gravitate towards but there aren't like a checklist 
of qualities that I need to have in someone. I mean, there are certain things where it's like, okay, if you've murdered like three children, I'm not gonna say it's all relative, but mostly <laughs> it's all relative. How do you get comfortable going into the weight section of the gym? Watch videos, like YouTube videos of certain exercises or like dumbbell things you can do before you go into the weight section because I think what's intimidating is when you get there and feel like you don't know what you're doing and so if you go into it with an idea of like okay like i watched a video of whitney simmons whitney simmons has great beginner videos which i always recommend to people um whitney simmons i watched her like beginner like bicep workout and then you go into it thinking okay i'm gonna do a bicep curl i'm gonna do a what else do people do for biceps? I freaking don't really care about my biceps, so I don't really pay attention to them. And you know, like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. So you go into it with a plan, that makes it much easier. Um, but go into it with a few options. So if maybe, like, there's no benches left or something like that, then you know something you can do on the cable machine, like you can do a bicep curl with the cables. And once you do that for a while, you'll start to like get the feel for it and be more confident as you actually do the motion. And it honestly just takes practice. It's all about practice. What is that video that's like, we're talking about practice. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? Did you ever get homesick during your study abroad? I'm abroad right now. I definitely did more in the beginning because I still hadn't got my bearings of like, getting comfortable with a group of friends and like getting used to the schedule and being on a ship and everything because I studied abroad on a ship if you don't know and so it was very easy for me to feel homesick and be like oh my god I wish I was home with my friends where it's easy and comfortable but I think the key to not being homesick not even just when you're studying abroad but in any new situation or like going off to college or whatever I used to do this with kids because I worked at a summer camp for many years and kids who would get homesick because I was one of those kids when I was like a young and like eight years old I would cry at night because I wanted to go home and see my mom because Paul is great you know but what I would talk about with the kids when I was a counselor who would get homesick is you just have to shift their focus like the opportunities that they have there that they don't have at home so instead of saying like oh what do you miss about home like obviously you don't say that because then they think about it and then they cry but what you say is like what was your favorite thing you did today or like what do you like about camp or like tell me about the new friends you've made so kind of shifting your mindset to that where it's like thinking putting your energy towards being grateful for the opportunities you have abroad while that you would never get at home like it's easy to be like okay but I could be at the movies with my friends at home right now but you'd be missing out on like going to see the freaking like Duomo in Florence. If you feel homesick, if you're abroad or in any new situation, every day start to write down three things that you did or things you're grateful for in that situation that you would not get anywhere else. And that'll kind of subconsciously shift your focus onto focusing on those positive things and feeling grateful for the opportunities you have rather than what you're missing somewhere else. My eye watering has literally been like all over my face and I had no idea, wow. I'm just really emotional about being abroad. Oh my God. Just realized now that I said this, um, I don't feel sick. Like my throat's fine now. So apple cider vinegar must the hell. Someone says choose one, a real couch or a printer that magically always works. Dude, I would choose a printer 100%. I am literally emotionally attached to my inflatable couch at this point. Like I had a company reach out to me. I don't even think I ever mentioned this. Last spring, a company reached out to me that like sends people real couches. And they were like, we'd love to send you a couch. And I literally was like, I can't sacrifice my in theory, like, I, I'd be open to getting a real couch, but I don't want to get rid of my inflatable couch. So if we could find a way to fit both. Someone says, what's been your favorite themed soul cycle class? You guys already know if you're watching this vlog, the Drake class, like, blew every soul cycle class out of the water. It was incredible. If every soul cycle class I went to for the rest of my life was Drake themed, I would not be sad. <laughs> These are actually from Shein. I forgot I got them a while ago, like last fall, I think. I'm wearing this blouse that is from, I think, Nectar. It's a boutique in Orange, California. I know that's like not helpful. They look kind of gray now that I'm looking at them. I feel like they're good. Okay, let me know what you think for booties in terms of office wear, but I think they're okay. I don't think I have any exciting updates for this Tuesday. Back in the cubicle corner for week three. Another peace sign, you guys. I keep doing it. I don't know where my intern friend is. Her stuff was here when I came, but she's not in here. I'm gonna watch some event videos and get some quotes. Hell yeah. If anyone wants to follow along, <laughs> watch these videos. <laughs>
that's all so subscribe to catch my next couple vlogs i hope you enjoyed this q a make sure to follow my fit insta link down below if you want to be a part of the next one love you so much thanks for watching subscribe if you're not already and then i'll catch you in my next vlog this coming sunday i mean it's strange it's strange to me too but we talking about practice man we're not even talking about the game the actual game when it matters we're talking about practice